Thank you, Valerie. So at this point, I'm going to actually share some of the toolkit resources. So I'm going to start screen sharing. And um, if you do have something to say, please do enter into the chat and I will checking in. And also Mark can interrupt me at, at any point. Um, so we have two resources and I'm just going to show you the first one. Um, and you'll find if you are doing your presentation and you might want to screen share and so having things set up on your screen before you start is um, is a good move and sort of testing and practicing. It can be a bit tricky. I'm going to ask, you should see the, the introduction, why do we bother exercise up there now? Um, this is what we have in our kit and I sprung this on you, but we do suggest that you might send this to people before they meet for your conversation so they can think a bit. Now this group is, it was wonderfully articulate. But some of the groups you meet with may not be, they may not be as experienced or they may not know as much. So sending this ahead of time could help them. Um, so if you're sharing two documents, you probably won't have to. I am doing that right now. You have to stop sharing and start sharing again to get to the second document. So Zoom is a bit tricky when you're trying to do a Zoom conversation, but I'll show you how that works. I'm going to screen share again and the other document. So you should be able to see the four, four facilitators now. And um, I wanted to touch on this first because in our toolkit, we have a guide for facilitators that's chock full of information. And you probably will not be showing this to your attendees, but you might wanna either print out some of it or have some things um, set up before your conversation. Um, so this is called, we call it the facilitator resource and it's a companion for the presenter slides, which you will probably be showing. And we divided agenda, we did create a suggested agenda, and we divided it among science and impact, social science, areas for change, a better world, actions and solutions, and supporting one another. So these resources are actually for each of those sections. Um, and we find that the conversations, online conversations, can go on really, really long. So we've put a few sort of ideas for shortening the conversation in this document. Um, you can send resources in advance. You could suggest a second conversation, but more than anything, you can take a look at your group that you've invited, whether they're coworkers or whether they're your um, community members, and you can decide what level they're at as far as understanding um, the science, for example, or the working together, and just pick and choose. You might even just show a video and have a conversation, or you might show the slides that we have. Um, so picking and choosing and tailoring it to your audience is a really good idea. And I'll show you some of the options and, and how, how um, things we've suggested. Um, we also have a bit of a guide to using Zoom and people have different levels of experience with Zoom. So we do suggest five or 10 people for the conversation because it's easier to manage and, it, and more people get to participate if it's smaller. Um, and we think you'll, you'll probably need to set the call up for two hours. And we do say that if you don't have the capacity to do that, just let us know because we can help you set up the Zoom conversation. Um, and you might also want to um, do some of these things I've got here in the corner for managing the conversation. Some people like a really informal conversation. So then you might just go like this. Right, you know, and, and then you, and you can see everyone if you've got a small group usually and you can just um, answer people um, or you might want to try a, a mix of putting us's in the chat and waving. Just whatever the feeling you want for your conversation kind of dictates that a little bit. Um, so I'm not, this is the suggested agenda. This is really detailed and you won't be showing this to the people, but this is for you. And we've gone through the introductions, <clears throat> but we went through the land acknowledgement as well. And we suggest that you personalize the land acknowledgement to where you're meeting and do a little bit of research and make it a little more meaningful for each conversation. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna go next and just, I'm just gonna show you one or two more in this document to give you an idea of how it works. And then we'll just switch to the presenter document and we'll, we'll go through a conversation a little bit more. <clears throat> so, you'll see in this document is chock full of facts. And this is to give you support and so that you have information that you can use in your conversation if you want it or if you need it. And each of these slides corresponds with one of the presenter slides. 
So I'm going to show you how that works. But say you have a group of people who doesn't know much about the science at all. You might want to start with explaining um, some of the basics. And if you know, if you have, if your group knows a bit about the IPCC report, because it's very, very popular, you might want to just focus on the IPCC report and um, and talk about it or show a video. So we have lots of options in these resources that you can pick and choose from. And you can always refer to the facilitator guide for um, talking points so that you feel more comfortable.